Um, are you there, Jabroni? I'm here. What's up? I think we're live. Uh, it doesn't show it on that on YouTube. It doesn't. It says live on my end. There it is. YouTube. Now, now it does. <laughs> oh, who's that guy? I <laughs> <laughs> I th I think we're live, boss. I think we're live. All right now. Um, <laughs> we're just uh, winging it here. Let's lower. Can you hear me fine, there, sir? I can hear you, man. All right. It's good to see you, Rod. Man, I miss you, man. I'm sorry I missed out on Saturday, man. I had a long weekend. <laughs> uh, what you had going on on that long weekend yeah i had a uh, you know res reserve drill weekend man i can't get out of that yeah how did that turn out sir it was it was a long weekend let's just say putting <laughs> taking down tents and doing all sorts of army stuff not fun yeah not fun but it's only one weekend a month you know so the rest of the weekends i'll be on coast to coast with you and jeff yes <laughs> Yes, yes. That's what I like to hear. So who we got in the chat, man? Man, I'm trying to pull it up right now. Just give me one quick second. I got the tablet out here. We got uh, Dex Funko's Popping Comics. What's up? Steve Whitting. What's Steve, going on? what's up, Steve? I see Perry Comics is on here. He said live. Hey, you going to jump in, Perry? What's up, bro? Well, Stacy's Weekly Comic Book Picks. What's up, Stacy? Yeah, he's got a he's I, he actually he just he's starting his stuff up, and um, he, he's getting there. So I you know I got to give him a shout out on my uh, on your Sunday show and your Sunday show for sure, man. For yeah, sure. I do that. I like that. I like that concept that you got, man. Giving giving shout outs to people. That was a last minute thing, man. I was just like, I gotta do something. You know, you can't forget where you come from, so. Borinkin yeah. Comics says, what's up, Rod? Yo, if I saw Bob, where you been at, homie? All right, here I am. I can see the chat now. So, Perry, what's up, bro? How you been? What you picking up for tomorrow? Hey, Edwin, you got on. Uh, you're cutting off, so you might want to. Am I, am I cutting off? Yeah, just uh, out. Oh, there we go. There we go. To the left. How's that? How's that work for you? That, Better? That, that's a sexy gentleman right there. <laughs> so anyways, man, let, let me know. What, what did we want to do today, man? Well, first off, uh, we're just winging it, guys. You know, we got home from work. I told Edward, I said, yo, let's wing it. Let's just do something. Let's talk about what to pick up or what to pass on tomorrow's books. Yep, yep. So that's what we're here for, man. You know, this is just a bunch of two guys just chilling. Talking comics, man. Talking, Talking about what's coming out. And that's pretty much it. So um, let me see here. New comic book day for me, man. It's a, the best day of the week. I love it. Yeah. And actually, um, the best day for you is actually the day after. Oh, yeah. Because I put my video out, man. But yeah. Wednesdays is fun getting into that that comic shop, looking yeah. at that wall of new books. Oh well, look who's in the chat. Ace and Funk comics. Hey. This dude, yo, Ace and Funk. You haven't missed anything that. yet, man. We're we're about to get into what's coming out tomorrow. What we're looking at. Like I have my own personal pool box, and then what I usually do is I go to the wall and see, you know, what did I miss? What did I miss? Plus, I'm not sure if everybody in the chat knows, but there is a secret variant. Marvel's putting out tomorrow. There goes everyone dropping knowledge, guys. This guy does it to me all the time. Drop, dropping the knowledge, man. Yeah. Secret variant. So, so uh, that variant? hit me up with that variant real quick. Before oh, you I... want to know about it? Yeah. What's, so, what, to... wait, what's he talking about the variant? I need so, so tomorrow from Marvel, Ziggy Pig and the Silly Seal, number one. I don't know anything about this book. But it has a secret variant with it. Dude, that sounds like a dope book. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can pull up the cover, man, and see what you think about this. 
about this cover, but it is. I saw it today. I usually go on like the Google Plus sites and just look up, you know, what people were talking about in the comic community. And this one, yeah. this one pulled up. People were talking about it. So Ziggy, Ziggy Pig and the Silly Seal. Number one. Guys, this is dropping tomorrow, and there is a secret variant to this. And that's by Marvel? This is a Marvel book, man. <laughs> that's a Marvel book. Let's see. It is written by Frank Thierry and illustrated by Nick Klein. Two names I, I'm not really familiar with. Yeah, neither am I. So, I mean, hey, it's the first time for everything. So, so I guess this, uh, let's see. The... Key Collector Comics app says that this book is the reintroduction of these characters. First, first titled series of two characters introduced in the Golden Age. Oh, that explains it, though. So, I don't know. Yeah, it might, yeah, it might be worth. It's the very one, though. Yeah, it might be worth going out there to go and get. It's interesting. But um, I want to take a quick minute, if you don't mind, Edwin. Hey, go ahead, boss. Do what you got to do. I just want to say I was at work, and I was sitting there. I was just thinking. Because my, my, my wife questioned me this. She goes, how long have you been doing this? And I was like, I don't keep track. I just you know put up content. you know, And just and do it. That's what we do, you know? Yeah. And I don't, I don't realize how much content you put up after a while. And then... I start scrolling back. I grab the phone, and I'm like looking at it. I'm like three months. I'm going back now further. Yeah, six months, nine months, and then I come all the way to the very end, and I see this crappy ass picture of my <laughs> first video. And, and it was like, one year anniversary. One year yesterday. Congratulations, sir! One year, dude. It was the crappiest video ever. I just held the phone like a little amateur recording just going like this. But, <laughs> you know, you got to start I mean, somewhere, right? Yo, man. I, mean, I just want to say, um, hey, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mom. Congratulations. Thank you, guys, for, uh, hey, if it was. Funk says, congrats. Congrats. Oh, thank you, man. I don't have a cat named Biscuit, but hey, <laughs> I, I have a cat named Phoenix. So for Thanat for Thanatos Thanatos for his yeah, Thanatos. 700 you know giveaway for his 700 subscribers, you know he had you go back and redo your first video. I didn't do that. So I redid it and I I had to watch my video over again and man it was is bad. I, I'm Dude, not you, saying like, like my content lines, my content now isn't the best, but you know what I was pushing out back then was oof. it's, <laughs> Yo, it's your, tough to watch. Your intro was epic. I like the letters roll down. Yeah. I use this free website online, man. I, I like it. It's free, you know. Oh, you gotta you know, hit me up with that now. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll hit you up with that later. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, Steve Whitting. Hey, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to come down to Barto. Maybe. We, well, I was gonna say maybe we we'll bring Edwin, but Edwin's over there in Texas, San Antonio. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not making so, it that uh, far. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, come down to Bar Tub, bro. We got to um, check out that shop I was telling you about. And that, um, hey, thanks, um, Dex Funko Pops. With, uh, congratulations. Thank you, sir. And um, all right, that's, we got seven people in the chat, and that's, that's pretty cool, man. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. So um, what, what else are you looking at, man, for tomorrow? Because... Uh, well, I got a list of a few books that I know for sure are going to be in my pool box. Well, I'm pretty sure you do because you got this connection <laughs> with that homeboy. You take your games to that store, you get credit for it. Bro. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm talking about my local comic shop here in San Antonio. All right, then. every well, Wednesday, man, I, I got to hit this place up. Well, the one thing I really want to read because I'm digging right now is Green Lantern, so I need to pick that up. And I don't know. I gotta call my shop to see if they have it. Yeah, Steve Whitting says Immortal Hulk. That's a that's a given, man. Dude, but I got that in my pre-order, though. You see? Oh, see. So you gotta wait till the end of the month for that. Yeah, that's so depressing because everyone's talking about it. Yeah, and you 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 kind of out. You out yeah. there? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be picking up Immortal Hulk. That one has, I want to say, like two covers for it because this. 
for some reason this week they're doing like the Spider-Man villain covers. I don't know if you've seen that. I have not seen that one. Yeah, so there's like different books are doing Spider-Man and a villain. So like okay. Conan for some reason has Spider-Man with uh the Red Goblin. Okay. Which is a man, it's an amazing cover. It looks it's beautiful. So I'll be picking that one up. There's another one with him. Um him and Electro, I want to say. There's there's a few of them. They look really nice. Oh, they are we being Mr. joined? Oh, oh, oh Mr. I, 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 I'm I here. Said, Immortal Hope probably won't. There's, there's won't Perry. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> That's what's some guy on? that I know from Tampa. Yeah, man. <laughs> My bad. I took forever. I was I couldn't open this in Firefox, and so the Internet Explorer didn't work, so I downloaded Google Chrome. But I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. You're here. <laughs> That's all that matters. That is Perry Comics. Yes, this old boy is, is uh man. This guy is cool, man. <laughs> and and we okay. we follow each other on Instagram. Oh yeah, man. I'm seeing you doing your intro dance. You know. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm crazy, man. When it gets to like me going into my garage gym, I do crazy stuff in there. Yeah, man. What when I see you had that black label uh ramen noodle soup, I'm like, oh, yeah. this guy's this guy's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and one. Hey, Yo. don't go ripping the shirt off because Dude. I showed that to my wife and she said, Can you replay? I said, Go to bed. <laughs> I said, Go to bed. And she said, Wait, what's wrong? I didn't see it. But she said, I didn't see it. I said, you didn't see it? I see that perfectly fine. Hey, but my wife thought I was crazy, man. Took one yeah. of my old shirts and ripped it like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> That's what she said. She went, you ripped this shirt? I was like, I mean, it's a little crack right here. <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. I didn't think you'd notice. Man, I'm a wrestling fan. <laughs> I like that Teen Titans over there, that number 12, first appearance of Batman Who Laughs. Oh, yeah, man. I just I copped that right now. Yeah, like, like, four hours ago, I seen it on eBay and had to get it. That's it's a good one to get, man. Oh, yeah. Definitely a good one to get right there. Oh yeah. So Perry, what you got? What you picking up tomorrow? I know everyone's oh, got a big list, but what's on your list? Um, I actually have multiple receipts because I kept going back to Midtown Comics and ordering more and more books. <laughs> oh damn, man! <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, too many cool books, man. These Ghost Rider, um destroying the marvel history oh yeah all these covers are fire man i had to Dude. go back and spend the 50 bucks and get the cover e with spider-man on there you got thor on there uh, everyone's on that cover it's amazing there's a yeah. uh, there's a really nice one with like where it looks like he's there's three of them where he's first just the punisher the punisher and then the he's like the the, two guns. yeah and then he's punisher yeah. ghost rider and oh then yeah he's punisher cosmic ghost rider Oh, yeah. So that, that one really looks really nice, but I don't know if it's an incentive variant. It's I know it's I think it's just a cover B, but it's it's definitely sold out on the midtown already. Um so, so that's happy definitely I got, one to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I got one and, and if you if you guys are going to the shop tomorrow, make sure you're there at 12 o'clock and just try to get that book. That's a hot book right now. Oh man, your shop opens at 12? 12 o'clock. I'm oh, there at dude. 11 45 waiting outside. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> is there is there usually a list uh, like a, a wait to get in the um, shop? Not really. Usually there's like one or two guys there, and it was pretty cool because one guy noticed me last week. He's like, hey, I've seen your videos on YouTube. I'm like, oh, man. man. <laughs> this is stuff. so awkward. I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, let me shake your hand. I'm like, have a good day. I don't know what to do. I got like, I don't know. <laughs> and actually, I take a picture and be like, look at this. I was, yeah, I, I think if I see him next time, I'm like, Let, let's take a picture or something. Let's get know? a selfie or something. Man. Yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. That was yeah, my, mine over here opens up at 10, so I'm usually there at like 9.50. Oh, that would be awesome. I wish. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesdays they open up early. They open at yeah. ten. They usually open at eleven. And I'm lucky because now we got laptops at work, so I get to work home from Wednesdays at home. Nope. So I take my lunch break and I head on down <laughs> to the shop. Yeah, that's not even fair, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the best, man. How close are y'all shops from you guys? Ooh, me, wow. Uh, right now, there's well, Perry knows a uh, Bartow is about Bartow, Florida is about. 35 minutes away, which is not too bad. It's just a straight shot. There's a shop that opened up in Winter Haven, but the guy just, he just, it just opened up. He's just doing like, you know, playing cards and stuff like that. And he just, he just puts up all the new books. And the new books are right, very limited. So, yeah. You know, so I, I picked up a few books there. That's when I picked up the crappy X Men books that I didn't like. <laughs> and I was just like, this is just, 
this read was garbage, you know. But uh, I was supporting this shop, and he was asking, what do you like? I was like, do you have criminal? I want criminal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that, number, and, that number one or number two? Both I got number one and two. But at the time, he didn't have number two. I had to go to bar two and pick it up. So he was like, what's criminal? I was like, oh, man. Your friend was just here. Oh, he works for me. <laughs> so... I like that shop in Barto on Main Street. Yeah, that's the one. I, I went out there to a festival with him, and man, that that was a cool shop, man. There's so many back issues there, and two dollar bins, and I had to get a statue of the Batman who laughs there. It was a cool place. You Is took that, it out that, the box already, huh? You took it out the box. Oh yeah, I got it somewhere else up here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that nice. Right there. That's sick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. With the with the uh, comic that I got there too. So I got it right oh, behind there. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that is nice cover. It's sick because he's actually holding the card in his hand, you know. Is that the Capullo? Really cool. That's the Capullo yeah, cover? the Capullo cover. Yep. Oh, yeah, very cool. And I'm going to see him in Miami this year, so get it signed. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, so you guys you guys live pretty far from your comic shops, man. A little well, bit. Like, I mean, if that's 30 minutes away, that to me, mine's a five-minute drive down the road. Are you in, like, city? Because Florida's kind of like, you got to drive everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm in San Antonio. San Antonio is a huge city, man. Mm. And I'm, like, right on the outskirts of it. But there's okay. – dude, San Antonio has, like, eight or nine comic book shops. Oh, wow. And they're, and they're kind of littered littered throughout the city. I just happen to be closest I, – I, you know, I, I happen to live close to, like, the biggest one in San Antonio. That's awesome. So, yeah, so I just – it looked out. You're in your city. See, my city is, like, very small. But there's really nothing here. Back at my Walmart, it's, like – Five minutes away, I could pick up the DC giant books, the hundred pages, wow. you know, all the time, you know. So, you know, it's just one of those things. What's the deal with these like Walmart and Target books? Because I've seen Target had those ten dollar books, and now uh, yeah. they have they have yeah. DC Primal play sets and action figures. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Like, who's buying this? A lot of, I, I guess, a lot of people. <laughs> I just, Wait, I don't, I, the artwork was like, eh, you know. Yeah, it wasn't that great. I, I like the hundred page, the the Walmart ones because those are more like um, those are reprints of older issues. Oh, that's except really for cool. except for like one story is a, is a brand new story, but everything else is reprints of older issues. But that DC Primal Age from Target that was exclusive to Target and it was a mm -hmm. brand new story. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't find them here. Oh no, oh, there's like a whole stack of them. <laughs> there's a grab. Oh one. damn, yep. You should go back and try to get them now. Yeah, they're probably going for a little bit on uh. Yeah, they're selling for twenty. I was, I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, "Let's buy ten of them and flip them online. <laughs> flip them all on there." You know? <laughs> um, you know, so, tomorrow. I don't know if you guys been reading Die from Image. Die? I mean, wanted to get into it, but I I haven't read it. Oh man, Die! Yeah, number four comes out tomorrow, man. It is. It, it's like I Dungeons love and Dragons, right? Like, yeah, it's like Dungeons and Dragons like Jumanji, and, Jum and Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, and it's the world. And Jumanji mixed in, so and there's two covers for that, and they're both awesome covers. Yeah. But Edward, can I ask book. you a question, sir? You can ask me a question. All right, I picked this one up last Sunday. Well, not not this Sunday, the Sunday before that. Is that the first print? Yeah, that looks like a first print. Yeah, I think that's the first print. Be the, when I told the guy, I said, "Is this first or second print?" He goes, "This is second print." Let me see. Let, hold on. Let me let me get my my independent box. I'll go get mine. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, because uh, dude, hey Perry, you you, I, you gotta you gotta read this. I, I do. It's really good. You, you don't you can't find this in bar, so he didn't have it there. Yeah, it's been selling out like crazy. Every time I go into the shop, there's like one or two, but I don't know. The, my my issue with these second print and third prints, they should have uh, once you open the book, they should have it on like the bottom left hand corner. Like first, second, third print, because you just never know. Hey, why? Why? Hey, Perry, your computer stuff is high tech, man. This stuff, nah. you, yeah, that's got to be a first print because there's mine. It looks just like yours. Sweet. Man. But did you Perfect. did you open it up? Because if it was a second oh, I read print, it, I mean, it, it, it would say a second print or anything. All right, look on the back, on the barcode. Here's some here's some knowledge for you guys on the no. barcode. You're going to have the three number ones at the end. And if yours on the, la the last number, if it's a number one, that's a first print. Wow. Whoa. And if it's a number two, it's a second print. 
Wow, what is that's, it? I can't... that's super cool. Yo, I didn't know that. Out. That's a that's first. First print. First print, man. And that's off of four prints right now, right? Yeah, you know I think I... it's on a fourth or something. Let me see if I have like a. Holy crap, yo. I wonder if I got a second or third print of anything in here I can show you. Because, yeah, if you look at barcodes for second, third, fourth, that number changes at the end. That's really cool. I never knew that, dude. Yeah, I did not know that either. I'm getting schooled. <laughs> getting a little, yeah, little bit of knowledge. Dude, you always drop the knowledge on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, hey, that die, is, that die is really good, man. I got to jump into it before it blows up and can it's never really find good. a first issue. Or they, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these books like this are getting made into TV shows, you know. So, oh yeah, like Netflix shows. I don't know if you guys have been watching that Umbrella Academy. I, I haven't. haven't. Yeah, I just but started it, watching Doom Patrol. Oh, no. see, I haven't started that one yet. I finished the first episode. <laughs> what? No. Good, dude. Patrol. It's worth the seven dollars a month. That whole app yeah, is worth it. Like it really They're, is. Really and we really get a lot of guys say, "Nice come up, Rod. Nice." That's a good pickup, bro. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Even yeah, Dex Funko Pop said the barcode. Yeah, the barcode will tell you, man, every time. And I know that, man. That's pretty cool. Hey, I, I just want to give a quick shout out to Asian Funk. He just started doing his YouTube channel. I yep. think he just dropped his second video. Super cool. He's doing this thing. You could tell just by watching, he's putting effort into it. And and welcome to the community, man. He he hit me up on Instagram and it, really cool guy, man. I just want to say what's up. It's Cat Biscuit, yo. That cat. Over there. <laughs> man. We got uh nerdy nerdy blurb TV. Nerdy blurb. Just yo, showed up. What's up, nerdy, nerdy blurb. blurb? Oh, what's up? Hey, what's up? Need more? Need mo. I need more comics too. What? Hey Perry, so what else, man? What what's looking good for you tomorrow? All right, let's see. Let's see. Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got a stack around oh. this where, man. Everyone's gonna hit it with some unboxing and then. Oh yeah, well you're talking, man. So I poured already because I just I just got an eBay Ooh. eBay purchase in the mail, and this is a book hey, that I've hey, been looking for for a long time. Hey Perry, did you see his last video? Which one? Edward. Oh, the, where where I bought the books from Miami and I got screwed over because they sent them in the <laughs> bags. <laughs> what? They the just said oh. Uh, Go check the video out, man. Oh my I get, god, I will. I get pissed on camera. Like you could tell I'm so angry. Oh my god, I would be too. No way, dude. dude. He, was, was, he, he was mad. It, it, yo, <laughs> like a wife watching it. She yo, like, man. Like a silver, like a silver off? age. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> I went Hulk. They went Hulk. <laughs> they got like a silver age bag and they stuffed like five or six books into one bag. Not boarded, nothing, just stuffed them. Oh my god, dude. And there were three bags all put together. Oh, I was pissed. Oh, no way. Yeah, was that from eBay? Yeah, it was an eBay purchase oh, from a comic bag, shop right? in Miami. You got us. Oh, oh, Corka Comics? <laughs> no. 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 Gaunt Gauntlet Comics. Gauntlet Comics. Oh, I almost went there. Yep. There I you think they go. got bad reviews. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my language. Excuse yeah. my language. Yeah. Oh, I man. know. I just got this from eBay yesterday. Very happy about it. What well, the shop, right? First, first Craven, right? Yep. Yeah. Very happy, you know, ten dollars. Oh, dude, yes, this is what I got. Go ahead. Oh, the all new Wolverine number one. That's that hip hop homage. Yes. Yes. Oh, damn. And it was so nice that I bought two of them. <laughs> oh, that's sick, dude. dude hey, I Ella, love, we can make I a love trade. This. Can I make a trade? Now, one of these is getting sent to CGC, man. Hold yeah. on, who, what, what is that a homage cover of? That's um of the DMX. DMX, uh, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. That's it, right, dude? I oh, always man. thought this was the coolest cover I'd ever seen for Wolverine, man. Oh, I need to get that. Dude. And like, she's drenched in blood. That's so cool, dude. I love. I that remember cover. that. I remember that. Watch this. Watch this old school. I remember that cassette. That cassette. And uh, my mom threw it away. Oh no! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when, yeah. when I was at your comic shop in over in Bartow, I got the uh, Spider-Man and Deadpool paid in full homage cover. That's a, that's a cool book right there. That's pretty dope, man. Oh, Dude, yeah. I, I love. Yeah, I'm set. I bought two because I want to send one out to to get graded. Get graded. Oh, you, I'm, yeah, I'm you have to. Yeah. Dude, but this cut this book has been like raw. It's like 30, 35, 40 bucks. And I went on eBay one time and I found them. I've got both of these for twelve dollars. 
Wow. Oh, that's yeah. a come up right there. <laughs> yeah, man. I got lucky. Yeah, dude. I've been looking for that for a long time, man. That's awesome. Patience. Long time. For sure. So what what are you looking at tomorrow, man? I see you were looking at your list. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know if you guys are reading Killmonger. I have not read that, but I heard good things, and I see I just put it back down. So I need someone to tell me, should I put it in my list or not? Killmonger so far has been phenomenal. Doesn't it's he have a so symbiote? Good. He's kind of like, um, I don't know if he's like a part of the, I never seen the Black Panther movie or anything, and I don't really know anything about Black Panther, but I know he's from that like, yeah, yeah, he's that he's Black from Panther that. universe, right? Right, right. Um, so he has like the Black Panther, like a spirit guide almost. And he goes to Harvard, he's wicked smart, he's talented, and he's like very violent, and he starts linking up with Hitman and he tries to be a hitman for Kingpin, and then Bullseye comes after him, and because Kingpin's like, I'm not gonna pay these jokes, like get these clowns out of town. Like, I just I just use these guys. It's such a good book, man. I had seen, I think before actual Killmonger, the series, or maybe it was number one, but there was a part where he might have gotten a, one of the Venom, like a symbiote. He 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 gotten one. So I, I don't know. There there had been some talk about that. But yeah, Kill, yeah, Killmonger is from Wakanda. He's the I, the brother, I want to say. One of the brothers, yeah. Yeah, he's the brother of, of Black it, Panther. It shows him like iconically like picking up Black Panther and like throwing him off of like a waterfall. Yeah. Like that's so cool. And that's actually on the cover this week coming out. Yeah, the cover looks really nice this week. So hey guys, I had a question from the chat. What's up? From Nerdy Blur TV. He he's asking, is anyone pulling Wolverine the long night? Dude. Which is based off that podcast. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know what? I read today. You did you read the second one? I read both of them. I read the first one. And, hey, oh, Perry. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah. So I haven't been pulling oh. them, but I did listen to all 12 episodes of the podcast. I have not listened to it. Yo, I have listened to the, the podcast. Website. If you, hey, so if you've got, it, but I just went on it. Like, if you have a long drive home or like you're at work and you really have nothing to do, listen to that podcast. It is so awesome. Yeah, and I was just like, it's, it's like it just, Detective, you know, mystery who's killing what? And I, no I don't, I don't want to give any spoilers, but like, the, the dude, just the last two, two or three episodes, it's like mind blowing. Like, what? It's pretty what? neat. And then it's yeah. just like, it's like real gr gritty, too. Oh, yeah. It is really okay. gritty. Now, you read the second one. Does the second one pick up? Because the first one, Wolverine wasn't really in it. And it was like, what's really going That's on? The thing. You know, you just got to I was win. so confused. Yeah, Dex Funko. Gotta, gotta he asked which podcast. It's Wolverine the Long Night. And it's it's free on, I guess, Apple actually, Podcasts yeah. and it's right, whatever it's podcast it's you use. Right on the, on the book, actually. Let me see. Look, look. It's, it's good. And honestly, like, Wolverine's not even in every episode. But it's still like you you want to let I think I think number one is a is a must pickup and I, I need to go get it because there's got to be first appearances in that in that book. The detective, those those people in this book, is, they're so cool, man. Yeah, that detective, that's got to be a first appearance. I don't think those detectives have been in a comic before. Maybe that actually sounds right. I, dude, yeah, that's so me. that's that's a first appearance. I'm and I'm pretty to... sure they're gonna Marvel's gonna continue doing these type of podcasts. It's right there. It tells you how to it says that um well it's kind of backwards, but uh wolverinepodcast.com. Yep, they're free. Oh, cool. So yeah, you free can podcast. Free I gotta check that out. Free. And actually, I, I seen that people were like hearing it or listening, or should I say listening to it? And you can go use the comic book and follow it. Oh, that's I cool. Accurate. I tried it. I was at work. My speakers on my laptop were, or my laptop or my computer are kind of crappy, but that's me. Hey, uh, Borinkin Comics talks about Deadpool having a new appearance tomorrow. So, uh, what I know about this appearance of this character is Deadpool number one from this volume. That's the book you want to get because the appearance of this character coming out tomorrow is actually the kid. Uh, whose parents he kills in number one. Oh, crap. 
so, so, so Deadpool number one, he was trying to think of a new, um, like a backstory for himself. So he's like, oh, maybe I came from another planet in a rocket ship. And he's like, no, that's not cool. So talk about Superman. Then he was talking about, well, maybe a radioactive spider bit me. No, that's not cool. Or maybe I was in an alley and my parents got killed by somebody, <laughs> you know, like Batman. He said, oh, no, I was the guy that killed those parents. Oh, damn. So then so the kid is, I guess, who, you know, who grew up into this character that's going to be in there tomorrow. OK. We got oh, a lot of people in the chat. I would like to uh, announce, uh, get some credit to people joining us. And uh, hey, JPO Flash, over from across the pond in the UK. What's up, JPL? Welcome, Appreciate welcome. you for jumping on the uh, chat with us. Grab, Grab those keys. keys here. And uh, that's pretty dope, man. As far as nice covers go tomorrow, man, I'm looking at. That Conan, which is that that Mark Brooks, that Spider Man, that Spider Man. Oh man, I, I I was gonna pull the trigger and I waited too long and, and it, it sold, sold out. out. Oh, it sold out. Yep, so bad. That Such one. A good story, right, guys? That Conan. Yeah, I I like this one better than Savage Sword. Mm. Yeah, I, and I agree with you too, that one. So, and then uh, even the A cover is really nice, man, because it's like King Conan sitting He's down on, on his, throne, on his right? chair. Yeah, on his yeah. throne. That's, that's a nice. That's a nice that cover. A really nice cover. And Black Black Order number five has a really badass A cover tomorrow with the guns. Yeah, with the guns pointed at. Um, oh yeah, oh, they're coming like all around him and stuff. Yeah, what's that character's name? I can't even remember. It's the one that in Avengers Infinity Gauntlet he had Iron Man out in the spaceship. What what's that? Oh man! See no. somebody in that. From, somebody from the in movie. That, yeah, in the movie. I haven't seen any Marvel movies. Oh my yeah, God. He, 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 I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do a series where I'm gonna Eb Ebony watch Ma. all of them. Ebony Ma, that's who it is. <laughs> oh come on, talk about Marvel movies. I'll be there Thursday to go watch Captain Marvel. Oh, very cool. You, <laughs> I'll be there in April to watch yeah. the real Captain Marvel. Yeah, dude, Harry, <laughs> you gotta get on it, man. <laughs> man, yeah. man, your 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 whole thing is. Beautiful man, you look more cleaner than I do with your high tech. What's the what me right there? You look beautiful. Oh. Man, <laughs> the Marvel, get on the Marvel movie. The Marvel movie with your, with your whole setup. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dex Funk says Thursday at seven. What do you guys think about this Harley Quinn? These oh, the covers. Are you guys hyped for? I don't know because Comic Tom said it's like color vo vomit, and that kind of like to me it hit the nail on the head. That's kind of how I feel about it. There's, I don't know. Well, yeah, they're they're loud. They're like really they're loud, really right? Yeah. But I like it. I'm gonna pick one yeah. up, man. I, I think I might pick one up. Just just maybe. I don't know. We are not. talking about the art gem stuff and all that. No, 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 the Chew, Derek Chew. This one. Yeah, that one. And that uh, one's. I do not. Yeah, I don't have that one. No, that one comes out tomorrow. Comes out tomorrow. That, that explains why I don't have it. It looks kind of yeah. like the. It looks like the last one when she was on the motorcycle. And see, that one was even louder. Like this yeah, one's that was really not loud. as. This one's this a lot. One's, it's a lot toned down. Yeah, but it's still pretty. Like you could tell, it's very digital. There's like no ink at all. Like no one inked it. <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, he did it all on, on his computer. computer. Yeah. I, I like. What other one did he do? He's done some flash ones before. This Derek Chu. Very I dig cool. his style, man. I like his style. And then my, I've been getting them because my local, my my comic shop, the the guy that owns it, he's he's been digging them, so he brings in a bunch of them. Oh wow! I, it's easy That's for awesome. me to just I, I can pick them up. He's known him. I've I've known about it for a while because of my comic shop knowing you know knowing about this guy. Mm. Actually, I told I saw I told Ed, oh, well I saw Edward put up the video about the art gems and stuff like that. I wasn't a fan of it. The art gem covers? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Like Wonder Woman? Oh man, that Wonder you know, Woman last week. But that was it's nice. It, okay, and that, that hey, and that's fine. I it's think to nice. each his own. To each his own, right? You know what? They're nice. They were nice, but here, look at I, that. I fell into the trap. Hey, it gets better. And it's Perry, you're gonna hate me for this. Oh no! <laughs> I went to Barto last weekend. They had buy two get one free. All new books, and yep, I picked them up. The art germs. It's, uh, 
Hey, Dex Punkle <laughs> wants to know it's it's whiskey, it's uh it's bourbon. It, it was all on Gatorade at that time. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> it was like eleven o'clock in the morning. So uh, yeah. Oh man, I would have bought like a that last week. The hot book for me. I never sold a book on eBay except for last week. <laughs> The old lady Harley that came out. Oh, you sold one? I, I, I sold four. I went to the shop in the morning. I got one. I came home. I realized this book is blowing up. At 8 o'clock, I went down to the shop. There was four more left. I bought them up $75. Damn, dude. I, shipping. I got to give it up to Rod because I wasn't going to get one. And Rod texts me while I was at the store. And he's like, hey, you need to get this book. Okay. Yeah. And I picked one up. It's really cool. It's the first appearance of Old Man Joker. The geriatric. Yeah. But see, okay, spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't read it. <laughs> but geriatric it, Joker is, yeah. is the son of Harley and Joker. So that crazy character you see in the background, that is actually the son of, of Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh, so that's not Joker because I've been read. That is that is not Joker. Yep, spoiler. I'm sorry, Perry. No, that's cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, I that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's the comment said I have four of those. Well, four of those. Share with the community, sir. Send one out, dude. That's needs one. You Send know what? And it was. It's a good read. It's a good read, man. It? Yeah, you get into like you know why they have a son and why he hasn't really been around, and it kind of goes into the past a little bit. Oh, that's really cool because I, I could have swore like Joker hates her, <laughs> you know, yeah. like he like wanted to kill her, you know, since the beginning, dude. Yeah, like I got that Batman yeah. Harley Quinn number one, and the whole the, you know the stories about her getting beat up by Joker and him, mm -hmm. he's trying to shoot her off into a rocket, <laughs> the rocket, yeah, yeah, and then Poison Ivy finds her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's a Joker fan, man. Huge Joker fan. Dude, that stuff is hard to find, Edwin. Let me tell you, man. Oh, uh, the Joker oh, covers? Some stuff. I, can't oh, I actually, I actually just found one. Let me show it to you. And that's how we do it here, dude. This one I found at Half Price Books. This Sinestro Joker oh, cover. Oh, oh yeah. my! I just that's found awesome. that, dude. And he's coming out of that Jack in the Box. That is dig awesome, it. dude. Dude, I love this cover, man. A dollar, hey, a dollar fifty at Half Price Books. What man. is that? That's Greenland. No, yeah, it's Sinestro. Sinestro, what? Twelve. Sinestro. It's Very from the. Cool. I think it's from the New Fifty Two. It was August twenty fifteen. It was part of the Joker seventy five anniversary. So, oh, like every yeah. every series was doing a Joker cover. No way. That's so this awesome. is a var this is a variant. Oh, that's, well, that's a variant. I didn't look out. Yeah, I have to say, up, we've been discovered. <laughs> oh, we've been discovered. You know what happens. Discovery mm -hmm. Bay. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy, man. I, I love yeah, Discovery he, Bay, man. JB? What are you talking he's about? Man, dude. I don't know that guy. <laughs> he just does these cool things on, you know, every morning. got to wake up and watch these things. <laughs> For, first video I try to watch in the morning at work. I get to work late. My boss is like, hurry up and get this done. I'm like, okay. <laughs> After this video. <laughs> <laughs> After, I, After I watch this. Yeah, I got to watch this real quick. <laughs> All right, let's see. So for sure tomorrow, I know I'm picking up Batman because, hey, I'm a Joker and I'm a Batman fan. Which Evan, cover are you going to pick up? Right now, I wrote down the B cover. The, the Evan, B cover? Okay. Evan Shaver at Shaner? That's, That's when he's down. hitting like, um, Two-Face. Yeah, he's hitting Two-Face. Yeah. yeah, he's hitting Two-Face. Very cool. Yeah, I like I, that one over the other. I want to go out and get, even though I stopped collecting it, but Green Arrow, it's the final issue of number 50. Yeah, Is it's it? a big one. So, I like it's the story. A, I, I think it's a double size too. It's a double size issue, and it's a heroes, uh, heroes in crisis uh, tie in. Tie in. Oh, that's gonna that. be gone. It's a tie in. Good knowledge. Long. Heroes in crisis tie in. Doomsday clock comes out tomorrow. Number nine. Not sure how yeah, you guys feel about be, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up. He, he looks insane. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. I am not a fan. I know you're not. God, I'm not a fan. I, I, I sent you the one issue, trying to help you a little bit. But, uh, I've been getting them, but God, they come out every three or four months, and you forget what's going on. Issue, issue number one came out in November of 2017. Wow. You're Put, that right. You're right. Put that in perspective. In 2007, we're in 2019, and they're on issue 11. 
Nine. Nine. Issue nine. That's issue that's, nine. That's, issue nine. Oh, my God. That's insane. Hey, I want to throw this out there real quick. If you don't pre-order comics, you might want to do it now because I did my pre-order this on DCBS and Batman Dam just came out. So that's issue three. And there's a book. Oh, my God. I can't back out of this chat right now. But there's a new... Um, there's a new um, DC Black Label. Right? Oh, yeah. The, so you might want to get three issues. Deceased? Huh? Deceased or is it this one? That's the one. Yeah, oh, the last. Man. Yep, that's oh. it. Last, last night. Dude, that is insane. When Batman comes out of a coma. Yeah. And never, like, everything was just like a fantasy. And then he tries yeah. to recreate the, oh, my God, yes. Dude, and they're and they're bringing back the new fifty two, the Snyder and Capullo team. Oh, for this! I quick shout you. out, quick shout out. If you guys go to my channel, I did a, a previews video. You guys can check out all the hot previews coming out. You're oh, you did <laughs> on on this book right here. Oh yeah, I love getting this book, man. It just tells me how much how much money I'm going to be spending in May. <laughs> oh, dude, I spent it already. <laughs> <laughs> I spent it on Saturday, <laughs> dude. But the, okay, so Batman, that one, and then this one looks dope. Deceased, the deceased, both covers actually. Ooh, with the, I, I like oh, the yeah. uh, balloon one. Yeah, that balloon one looks good from it. Oh yeah. Tom T cover. They got the Matina and the Capullo cover, and then Putri, Yasmin Putri did that cover. And I'm telling you, that artist has been on fire recently. She did. A, she did those Red Hood covers that everybody was on, and then the Nightwing covers. And she's doing Avengers No Road Home right now. The A covers on that. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to th those um, Avengers. There's a there's I a cover coming out. out too, Perry. So, huh? I did check out your stuff, Perry. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Um, there's this. I don't know what book this is. I pre-ordered it. I seen the cover. It's Spider-Man wearing Thor's helmet, picking up Thor's hammer. What? This is the sick. I got it back. You guys probably can't see. It is the sickest cover I've ever seen, dude. It is insane. What, when does that come out? That was in the previews also. On in this one? Yep. Oh, let me I look this up. It. Let me look that up. What's he's, is got it like, just... he's got lightning coming down. Let me check in my receipt. So many freaking books. You oh, here. Receipts, you said? My receipts. The receipts. <laughs> Dude out here buying a bunch of a bunch of books. <laughs> and, and you guys ever watch um comic book villain on YouTube? Oh. Comic book I'm, villain. He's a he's another San Antonio YouTuber, and this dude he goes to another comic shop on the other side of town, and he'll make a video every Wednesday just showing you what he picked up. Yo, and his receipt is like this long, bro. <laughs> like it's crazy, and he's got a bag. It's like this thick, just full of books. No oh, man, <laughs> I have. Is he I married? Have, Does he have any kids? I think so. You know, I just met him the other day at another shop. He, we were walking into the store, and he looked at me. He goes. You the comic jabroni? I said, yeah. I said, man, I'm comic book, I'm, I'm comic book villain. What's up? Dude, so it's good. Yeah. Cool, man. And we just a hey, just random day at the at the comic shop. Okay, I found it. It's called the um, Marvel Action Classics Spider-Man Two and One Number One. Ooh. Marvel Action For Classics. I love those. Thanks, Perry. Now I gotta go spend more money. <laughs> yeah. Um, now my now my pool list is gonna be. <laughs> Oh, dude, you got you got you got, you got Captain America coming out. You got Samurai Jack coming out. You got this Tony Stark cover. There's so many amazing covers coming. I figured I'm gonna spend the money anyway because I'm gonna get them regardless. Hey, so at least I you're not well buying drugs, money. right? Yeah, at least you're not buying drugs. I could be like smoking crack or something. You, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. Next funk pop and comment said, "Ah, why I don't have kids." You can buy more comics, man. Yeah, Borinkin Comics. That is, he he has every time he does a video, he starts it with a uh, a little Joker that's laughing or that's singing. Yeah, and he, he lets him sing, and then he moves him out of the way. Yeah, dope. He's a cool dude, man. I have to get. Yeah, we've been cool talking, we talked a little ways back. I got to get him on a um, maybe on the show. Yeah, he's, he's a comic, bro. He's a oh. funny, funny guy. And there's actually a um. A new book coming out by Image called Go Gore, Go Gore Tomorrow? Number One. Tomorrow, no, it comes out and um, it's in the previews. Uh huh. 
um it's like there's a creature living underground and there's like a war happening on the earth and then uh -huh. this boy discovers this creature on the ground that i guess is going to rise up and clear out what's going out on top i don't know but you know new image book you know definitely oh, something good. here we go yeah, you know? <laughs> image has been good man. they've been killing it that middle west oh my god what a see great i didn't i didn't grab that one what? if i picked up Whoa. if i picked up every image number one i'd be broke wow. guys because they they're right in the new... printing of number one dude okay it's so i'm gonna tell book. you i'm gonna tell you why i don't pick up every image number one. Oh, dude so it i picked good man I picked this one up. I don't know if you guys read that. The I dead, did not. Dead Hand. And I everybody did. said, oh, you want to go get this book? It's going to be really good. And the story's awesome, but it ain't gone nowhere. Like, that, you know what? A book is good for you, and that's, and that's fine. And yeah, I dig it. But I'm not going to pick up every image number one. What's another one? Here's another one. Curse, curse Words. You guys read that one? Let me see. Because I don't pick up every one. If it, if it looks good, I'll, I'll pick it up. Here's another one. Curse words about a about a wizard that comes into to Earth like nowadays, <laughs> and he goes. Well, he goes who wrote nuts. that? Who wrote who that? This Charles Soule and Ryan Brown. Hold on, I gotta show you something real quick. It's really <laughs> funny. The Bodega Comics said he has one through four. Of which one? Of which one was that Bodega? See, Mister Unknown says Dead Hand sucked. I, you know, I enjoyed it, but it was only six <laughs> issues. It was only six issues. What's that one? Hardcore? Is that a number? Is Hardcore. that image? Robert image Kirkman. number one? Robert Kirkman. The same one who's doing Ob Oblivion Song. The this same is who did Walking Dead. You Curse wanna, words you wanna, is funny. You, wanna, you want me to show you something since you're showing off that hardcore? Uh-oh. What do we got? I'm scared the way it sounds right oh, now. Oh, he's got one. A special exclusive variant. Ooh. That nobody knows about apparently. <laughs> this came out in a mega box exclusive, one of those monthly subscriptions. Hey, here's another image number one. Anybody reading this? Because I quit picking up after number one. It didn't go anywhere. Cemetery Beach. This is the Virgin variant. The Virgin variant of it. I just look at the when I see like, Robert Kirkman, bro. Hey, hey, is you know I I, I pick it up. Oh damn! I didn't notice that, dude. So yeah, I'm uh. I'm not gonna pick up every image number. I picked up Die, and thankfully I did because it's really good. But yo, Image comes out with a new series every week. They're just well, they're, I, got yo, this. I got this. <laughs> I think everybody does. Where's mine? Hey, <laughs> I finally found. I finally heard the story about this. Uh, Comic Tom. <laughs> Tell me the whole story about this thing. I have one, and I don't even. I'm probably using it as you a poster somewhere, bro. The mass produced comic book makes you pretty much remember where they were back then. So, hey, you want to know something? There's actually a variant to that book that goes for some money. I know that. It's the gold. It's, it's the, the gold one, variant. The one that had the gold right here, right? Yep, that's the gold. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> What else do I got that's the image number one that said, oh, go grab it. I'm back. <laughs> yes, but but Middle West is a knockout book. That's so it's true. hardcore. This book is insanely good. Hey, Perry, I may have I may have an extra copy. No, Edwin I needs it. He's sleeping on Middle West. Of what? I am. Oh, dude. I have here's so a, many copies. Here's of another book. image, number one, The Realm. I don't know if you guys have been reading that. I like nope. it. It's like Lord of the Rings. Um, and Walking Dead mix. Ooh, that's badass, man. That looks, yeah, that looks really cool. S send yeah. it out to the community. Look <laughs> to the community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's on issue. What issue yeah. is this? Issue 11. Realm There's 11. The realm is great. So, I mean, look, oh, here, here. Hey, it, it, image it, number it, ones. If we're talking about all, image number ones. Redneck. Redneck. Here's another one. Hey, that was a good book. That, that, that book is kind of dark, and I ain't messing around with dark <laughs> with, vamp with vampires. No, man. No, I don't want antichrist stuff or any bloody <laughs> stuff. And no, hey, I, I, I like Danny Donny Cates, but yeah, I heard about that book. Oh, you know about you uh, know about uh, Scotty Young, right? I know. I've seen some of his covers. All right, so Scotty Young and George Corona got together and they made Middle West. 
And yeah, and Scotty, like he just came out with a variant for um Meet the Scrolls uh, that's coming out this week. Right. Pulled out. Like he's such a hot artist, dude. And he I think he did the writing and some artwork in this book, but Middle West is is an amazing book, dude. If you if you see it or you see the trade paperback, jump on it, dude. It, it's a good work. It's a good book. I think my comic shop still has the number the number one issues, the A cover. A cover? Yeah. I, I think I so. I'll look tomorrow. Tomorrow, man. Yeah, that's the one that's coming out tomorrow too. That Meet the Scrolls. Yeah. Meet the Scrolls is coming. Here's another image, number one for you guys. Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon. I got my independent box here. <laughs> Let's see what else is coming out. Yo, coming out tomorrow. Oh, uh, Deathstroke 41. I don't know if you guys have been reading Deathstroke. I, I've been buying them because of the cover. Like the B cover is like a disco kind of feel. Yeah. I kind of like that. I'm, I'm digging that. Like it's, I, I like that '70s type of stuff, you know. But it's it's starting a new, like a new story arc with the Teen Titans. Yeah, because this is the finale Terminus. of the, the. This is the finale of that series, and now it's gonna tie into the new Teen Titans. Yeah, something I was hearing like that. Yeah. Hey, Mister Unknown Comics guy said, "Incidentally, my redneck run is for sale." Yeah. So, see. Uh, <laughs> can't stand redneck. Gave a real chance. A few issues. Do you guys have their Ravage run? Ravage? What's Ravage? I don't know. What is Ravage? I don't know that one. No sabes. <laughs> Let's see. Another book. Oh, Age of X-Men, Prisoner X is coming out tomorrow. No, I'm not into X-Men right find now, no man. X-Men book after that. No? Night nope. cool crap I bought. <laughs> I haven't been doing it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for B. <laughs> I ain't it's cool, it's cool, man. Hey, isn't that the Lee? The Lee cover? Uh, yeah, the cover the B. Cover. Yep. yep, dude. Lee, Lee's got like three or four covers coming out tomorrow that that are hot. Yeah, beautiful covers, man. Hey Perry, just to let you know, mm -hmm. on free comic book day, there is a shop over in Tampa. Uh, I forget the name of it, but you better get there early. Early, everything's a dollar. What? They're the only shop in Florida, well, where we at that does it because Barto won't do it. All the back issues are a dollar. Tony I Stark very ask you for a dollar. So don't spend too much now. Wait oh. until free combo day. I think I might go check that out. I forget the name of damn shop. There's a shop about 25 minutes from here in Brandon. That's um, part of the one. Yeah. Um, they only do back issues. Nothing new. They like it is so cool. And he for new comic book day, he's gonna have every new comic book day comic that has came out since new comic book day has started. That's, that's what he does. He doesn't do any new books. That's the one. Yeah. Hey, hey, if I were you, I'd pick up that Umbrella Academy if he has it. Yeah, I think I, I might. <laughs> I, I may pick up Middle West for you, Edwin. If he has it. <laughs> hey, uh, Dex gems, Funk yes. says go Google the cover of Tony Stark Iron Man number eleven. And Dex, Dex Funko, is that the is that the one where Tony Stark's in the the, the glass of whiskey? Because I I have that I have that. Oh, cover. that's that's gonna be an iconic cover because oh, back in what, the the Bronze Age where he uh, uh he was like all drunk and uh, like that's such a cool cover, man. Yeah, the the demon demon in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Demon in a bottle. Yeah, I got one of those. But yeah, I picked one of those up. I wasn't going to, but then uh. I saw it and I said, "Shoot, I gotta have it." Yeah, I seen that cover. I'm like, man, I'm, that's a, I'm cool. a whiskey, a whiskey fan. An old fashioned? That's my drink. <laughs> old fashioned? That's what I was drinking. Oh yeah, well, you got the orange peel in it too, Mister. And, and the and the classy. You and classy. the orange peel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have it the right way, man. Two classiest guys on YouTube. You got the old fashioned, and we got the guy with the sharpest hats. <laughs> with the sh the okay. sharpest hat on YouTube. <laughs> I got some. Uh, I got some Tampico. Oh, <laughs> I got some agua, uh, <laughs> some some of that water. Yeah, they, they, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that death stroke that starts that it's called Terminus Agenda, mm -hmm. and I, I man, I really think this is gonna be a story to 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 hold on to. Okay, because it's, just, gonna, it's gonna be just I'll, like the I'll pick it up. Like you know, back in the '80s, they had that Judas contract, and you got the first Nightwing. Ooh. I'm thinking we're gonna get a first appearance in this one too. You think? I think so. Because they've been looking, Teen Titans have been looking for this this person. I can't remember the name, Mister Unknown. I don't I don't know the name, but they're looking for a villain, and I think we might see him in this story arc. This is the the story with Crush, with what, Lobo's daughter. No, that's that's the, that's the one after. 
Okay. So they're doing Terminus Agenda, and then they're doing right after that they're gonna do uh, like Lobo shows up. Okay. To fight, I I don't know if to fight the Teen Titans. Yeah, because that crushes Lobo's daughter, which we don't know who the mother is. Have you heard the rumors on who it could be? Harley Quinn, but I don't Harley think so. Harley Quinn. I yeah, I, I, I can't tell you that. Yeah, serious. I heard that rumor. I don't know. I don't know. It, Lobo is such a twisted and sick fuck. My apologies. Um, <laughs> that he probably like m- m- had sex with himself or something. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> you know, like he made a copy of himself, and there we go. You know, like that's something that I, I could see coming out of Lobo. <laughs> Crush is such a cool character. When I oh, read yeah. the issue of, of Titans, and that was pretty dope, man. Dude, I, I'm loving Teen Titans, man. That whole group yeah. together, all the they're all like different personalities, man, trying to coexist on a team. Oh yeah, super I, cool. I'm digging it. Very cool. I like that it. latest cover when they were holding something up, like liar, um, like it, what each of them are or something. Yeah, what each yeah. of them are. Yeah, like they're all like insecurities yep. or something. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I, what does it say? Crush his mom is orange. <laughs> With Starfire. That, that orange crush. Oh. Well, guys, look who's in the chat. Comic Girl Ava. What up, Comic Girl Ava? Comic Girl Ava, what's up? She she put me on X-Men. I didn't have any X-Men comics before I seen her videos. And let me just say, it is Com- like the coolest thing. I have so many X-Men comics now. I'm just like, is Com- like falling in love with X-Men. I she wasn't subscribed cool. to Comic Girl Ava, but I'm gonna hit that subscribe button now. Oh yeah, it's yeah, really cool. She gets like these cool. these back issues, and like I don't know how she's able to get the camera like so perfectly over the pages, and like she reads to you like a summary of what the comic's about and gives her opinion, and it's really good. It's really cool. She just hit a thousand subscribers, by the way. Congratulations! Yeah, she's at she's at one 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 thousand sixty eight. Yes. Congrats, That's big time. Oh yeah, congratulations. Actually, well, I sent her a message and I told her, I said, hey, it would be nice to have you on Coast to Coast. And she was like, yeah, well, you know, she was nice about it. We'd love to, whatever. And her, her, we'll, uh, get, we'll get to it one day. Her, <laughs> her husband did like two or three videos that were like horror comics and I can't stand horror. And I was listening to him in the middle of the night do these comics <laughs> and I was freaking <laughs> out, dude. <laughs> you having nightmares? Yeah, man. Having nightmares? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Hey, there's there's one I don't know like you know I, I'm a kid of the '80s, right? Nintendo NES. I oh, absolutely yeah. love Nintendo. Oh, so there's a book coming out tomorrow called Double Jumpers, Full Circle Jerks. What? <laughs> and it has it has an homage. It has an homage cover to Ghost and Goblins from back in the '80s. Oh. And it looks amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right here. See if I can. I don't want to Google Circle Jerkers, but yeah, sorry, it's called. Cool. <laughs> It's from uh, it's from Danger Zone Comics. I don't know much about that that comic. I've never heard of that comic company. I, haven't. I don't know, but yeah, Double Jumpers. Let's see if I could pull it up. Yeah, here's the variant. Let me see. Double oh, Jumpers. There it is, right there. Oh, so it looks like that. Cool, dude. It looks like that, that old looks school like retro. Ghost, yeah, like yeah. That retro gaming right there. Old school Ghost and Goblins, man. Like you go into an arcade and you open and you see that on the side of a machine or something. Oh, yep. that's cool, dude. Yeah, Double Jumpers, number three. It's from, uh, yeah, it's from Danger Zone. From Danger Zone, r- r- illustrated by Daniel J. Logan. I don't know, Who anybody in the book? chat? Anybody in the chat know about this book? I don't know much about Danger Zone. What else What else has Danger Zone put out? I don't know. Maybe maybe Barbarian Kung Fu may know. He's in the chat. Thank you, sir, for jumping in with us tonight. We're just winging it here, having a good time. Winging it. We're just talking, man, about Thank books for tomorrow, stuff that we've been reading up on. I don't have – see, I don't have a, a double, uh, Danger Zone book. I typed in Danger Zone Comics, and then it, it redirected to Action Lab Comics. Oh, so it's – yeah. So they might it might be the same oh, company. Wow. Like anything good? I don't know. Very uh, racy covers. <laughs> oh boy! Yes. <laughs> oh, there goes my search history. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know on on Midtown when like you scroll down to the bottom and it shows the independent books. Uh huh. And they got those like oh my god, like the the bars the fam- like over like the. the <laughs> but they're like, always sold out. They're always sold out. <laughs> yeah, they're always sold out. Like, come on, dude, who's buying the, all these? The vamp, the vampire tramp. 
Yeah, like, vampire tramp or what, what zombie kind of tramp or something these, like that. Yeah. Some sick dudes out there, man, <laughs> buying up all these vampire tramp books. <clears throat> Holy what? smokes. Oh, this is and, another cover that's coming out tomorrow that looks amazing. Um, Avengers number 16, cover B. Oh, the blade. Oh, with, with uh, Spider Man punching uh, the Green Goblin. Nice. Very cool. I, I, I know I'm picking up that Spidey and uh, the Red Goblin one. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up any of the other cool cover. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up any of the other ones. I'm looking at it now. That's such a cool cover. Who's that by? Oh, Mark Burke. Chat here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying Barbarian to Kung Fu in here. Yeah, he is. How can I help? You can jump in if you want. <laughs> what else? And and I don't usually pick up Dynamite, but Six Million Dollar Man is coming out tomorrow. Number one. Yeah, and I'm gonna pick up the the Putri, the Yasmin Putri cover. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab that. I think gonna... almost all the variants are sold out already. Yeah, yeah, I think they're all sold out on on Midtown. Yeah. Well, I picked up um Res on oh, Res Sonia. Yeah, Res Sonia. Is but that I, one coming out? No, I picked that up in my pre-orders. Oh, okay. After Dynamite, so come my pre-order list is. I'm just looking dead at it. I got so much to read. It's not even funny. <laughs> Dude, I got like I got like a hundred books right here. God <laughs> leave, man. Oh, man. He has, is, he is has, that all from like uh, new comic book that. day or is that from uh it's like back issues mixed in with new comics and it's like yeah. No, one of my my DC yes, why why all you guys like do your reviews and stuff like that? I'm like this. <laughs> and then I gave my box. On the twenty sixth, and this thing is like this. And I'm Yo, but that's like, that's why on my Thursday video, I try not to like give too much like spoilers. Like I kind of just give you a, like an overview of what's going on. Yeah, I don't, yeah, because I've been like you know in my comments, I read the comments and I comment back, and and some of the guys on there are like you know I'm happy that you don't give too many spoilers away because there's some channels that don't even tell you there's spoilers and they just give you the whole book. Yeah, because so. then that also takes away from like. They'll hear your review and be like, you know what? That sounds really cool. Let me head and to my shop and go get it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's cool. I like doing that. You know, that's awesome. Well, guys, I think we're going about an hour right now. We're at that hour mark. Oh, damn. So what do you what do you think, Rod? We do this every Tuesday? Uh, if possible, yes. If possible. Period. I think, I think yeah, you know. I'm good, dude. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> I gotta I gotta step up my digital game here. <laughs> You're fine, dude. We could see that hat. If it was any yeah. sharper, it would have cut the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but now the glare, man. The glare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mine, mine don't glare as much as yours. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yo, you got some <laughs> and we got three bald dudes in the video. <laughs> three sexy gentlemen, actually. Three sexy gentlemen. <laughs> I think we're all married. All married. <laughs> no ring, no ring yet. You know? No ring yet. <laughs> no ring yet. <laughs> Hey, there. So let's uh, what? Hey, what is the, what do the comments are say? Should we, you know, Tuesdays try to put this on? Talk about what's coming out tomorrow. Hey guys, let us know. What do you think? Uh, you like the show? Leave us a comment. What do you think? If you enjoy it, you know, hit that hit that like button for Rod. Yeah, yeah dude. Hit that like I button. My stuff, but you know, for Edwin, for Perry, all of those gentlemen right there. There's some cool peoples, man. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, we're I'm almost at that 400 mark. I'm trying to Damn, I'm trying to get congrats, to it. Dude. I'm trying to hit that 400 and I'm everybody I'm right behind them. I'm you know, I'm giving this away. Once I hit 400 subscribers, this Avengers box has all the all the first movies in the Marvel in the uh, Marvel universe has them all on Blu-ray in here. That is so cool. So I'm giving I'm giving this to away. Ship that. This is like get like the FBI and CIA be like what is this? <laughs> what is in here? <laughs> it's one of the uh one of the infinity stones. <laughs> well, we got some positive feedback. We got saying, yeah, let's do it every sun, uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Tuesday. So uh, oh, comic girl Ava said, I'll come on sometime if you want. I see oh, yeah. that. We appreciate that. Thank you very yeah. much. Well, that's all I got, man. What do you That'll got, Rod? Awesome. Um I don't got anything else. I, I was just not expecting this. Um Positive feedback, but um, an hour, an hour flew by too, man. What do you guys think about that Immortal Hulk? Oh, that's that's for sure getting picked up. Alex Ross, 
Oh, goodness. I heard it's gonna be like a uh, um a, like a pre story, like a precursor to what's been going on. Well, what I what I read on Midtown was like with with Betty, mm-hmm. like he shows up at her door. So I don't know if it's after or before, but I it's guess still we'll worth the pickup. I guess yeah. we'll find out, guys. We'll find it's, out. it's worth the pickup. <laughs> yeah, dude, definitely <laughs> worth the pickup. That that's a story for another night. Oh yeah. But right now, hey. We gotta we gotta get all these books and read them and then we can like talk about them. Yeah, Saturday, yeah. coast to coast. Oh yeah, that coast to coast. It for tonight. And uh, how can I how can I end this? Hasta la vista. Something. Well, yeah, we could do that. But uh, <laughs> I want to say, um, buy or pass on New Comic Book Day. We had the Jabroni. We had PC. Trying to find a name for you, Perry Comics. <laughs> it's called me Perry, or or a lot of people call me Luke or Lucas, or you know, just what up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you see Perry, and of course, Perry. I'm just um, Rod the Rican. Rod the Rican. <laughs> Thanks Until a lot. Until next time. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, man. Catch you guys later. See ya. Peace. Later.